Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. My question is for the Minister of French Affairs. Now more than ever, with extraordinary circumstances that we're facing, it's important that our government listen to all the actors, all the community actors, so that we can respond to their needs. I would like to thank the non-for-profit French organizations for their efforts during the pandemic to help the most vulnerable among us. Together, we donate meals to French uh, to French Ontarians, and we also donated we also donated tools and equipment, medical equipment, to our first frontline workers. So my question is, how does the minister make sure that she listens to the French? Uh, Franco-Ontarian community. Thank you, Mr. Pre thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to my colleague for her very important question. Before the pandemic, I was always consulting the, the provincial committee for the French affairs in Ontario. I traveled across the, the province to talk to Frank, Frank, Franco-Ontarians and to talk about the, the, the difficulties that they're facing on the ground. And we also organized uh, roundtables. At the beginning of the pandemic, I also met with the Franco-Ontarian organization to understand the effects of the pandemic on them. And we also created a committee for the uh, economic French recovery. We also, in this committee, we had Guy Matt, who is the leader of the uh, Franco-Ontarian uh, discussion. And we have other committees from Toronto that came from all, from all different areas. Thank you. Question. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mrs. Uh, Minister, for your reply, and thank you for your support through my bill and to have made it a reality. This afternoon, after after the adoption of the one the, the bill 182, now the Franco-Ontarian flag would join the other emblem of Ontario's. Tomorrow, it's the Franco-Ontarian Day a community that shares strong values that are entrenched in the history of our province. How would you ensure that everybody recognize the important impact of the Franco-Ontarian community in Ontario? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to my coworker. It's under her leadership that we finally adopted the Franco-Ontarian flag as an official emblem of Ontario, and I thank her for her work on this important file. Mr. Speaker, I also work with Franco-Ontarian organizations in order to find solutions to the challenges that Franco-Ontarians are facing because of COVID-19. We had many productive conversations and we understand the importance of Francophonie and we're trying to strengthen uh, this community and we will implement a series of recommendations and concrete measures we're trying to improve uh, French services and the access to French services. We also trying to support the Franco-Ontarian community in their cultural and economic uh, and their economic opportunity in Ontario. Thank you very much.